happy Monday, everyone. I am so over the top ecstatic to be here with Jody Ann Campbell. She's the CEO and founder of Malcolm's Choice. What they do is they're a marketing and advertising agency. Let me introduce you. Hi, Jody Ann. How are you? I'm doing great. Hey, Shawnees. It's wonderful to be here. Thank you so much for inviting me to be on the show. It is absolutely my pleasure. Can you entertain us and tell us what do you guys do? Yeah, okay. Well, Malcolm's Choice is a company that I started back in 2019, and we are a marketing and advertising company, and we focus on showcasing and promoting and marketing Black-owned businesses in the greater Toronto area. Okay, so with that being said, what kind of businesses? Is there a cap, a restriction on what businesses you will showcase? Absolutely not. I mean, we on our website right now. So we have our online platform, which is a website, malcolmschoice.ca, and that houses our online business directory. And really, we do showcase black owned businesses from all sectors in all industries right across the greater Toronto area. We're excited because I think that, you know, in the past, it was believed maybe that there weren't as many black owned businesses as there are. And we're happy to shine a light on just people doing amazing work across all the different industries and sectors. And really, really happy to know. It's obviously something that you're very passionate in. What made you get into this? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've always been conscious about where I'm spending my money and who's getting, who my, my dollars that I'm buying from are going into the pockets of. So in the past, um, you know, before I started this business, I'm going to say it was back in 2015 when I was buying a house and I wanted to buy a house completely black. So I was like, okay, I'm going to use all black professionals. And it was really easy for me to find a black real estate agent. So easy for me to find a black mortgage agent. But when it came time for me to look for a home inspector, um, nobody that I knew knew one. And, you know, I was like, okay, let me go to Google. And I was going to type in, uh, I actually did type in black home inspector. And at that time, especially uh, when you did that, it did not uh, bring up black companies instead it brought up like companies with the the word black in their name and things like that so anyways that was really the catalyst that pushed me to begin this journey of starting Malcolm's Choice and yeah making it easy for us to put the our money into the pockets of the people that look like us and that was really what it was all about yeah, I remember in the past I used to ship things from the United States like hair care products I used to get Kara, Carol's daughter I used to ship that and pay the shipping and there was another one called Karen's Body Beautiful that I used to love as well but right here in the greater Toronto area we had so many great businesses and it's just been a really great journey to be able to tap into the people that are locally around us that are black and that are producing excellent products and services it's essential I mean the, mm -hmm. if when we look at the government they're talking about small businesses and local businesses they say that they are the backbone of the economy and what that really makes me think is that black businesses are the backbone of our communities and how we're going to be able to drive our ourselves forward and become financially secure as a community. So it's super important for us. Uh, and, and I think the real thing about starting Malcolm's Choice is to know that even one person can make a difference. If each of us is making that choice to first support somebody that looks like us and invest in somebody's dream, that these are the businesses that are going to in turn reinvest in our community, reinvest in our youth and be able to provide job opportunities and even more opportunities for us and our youth. So super important. <laughs> Super important. It's one thing to be an entrepreneur, a business owner, anything independent like that. Being a black owned business has a little bit more trials and tribulations. So there definitely is a movement to support black owned businesses. So Absolutely. thank you for everything you do. Well, thank you so much. You're very <laughs> I mean, welcome. you're a business owner too. So, I mean, we're all doing our part and we all play a major part, even the consumers in that, in this, in this journey, right? Yeah. So will you then enlighten me? What did you do before this? Well, yeah, before this, um, I guess I was a young lady still trying to figure myself out. Um, I've always been really in tune with my identity as a black woman, though. So that's why, you know, I've always been conscious about where my money is going. But um, I did some customer service. I used to work in the hospitality industry. I was a restaurant manager um, for some time. I've done things in business development and recruitment. So a little bit of a mixed bag there. But what I really draw from those experiences are the trans 
transferable skills that I'm now able to translate into making myself a good business owner, um, really understanding good customer service and, and creating a good uh, client experience as part of, you know, the brand that I'm building as well. Um, so, you know, all those transferable skills definitely do help me uh, today as an entrepreneur and uh I wouldn't want to do anything else now. A million percent. I truly feel as though every experience, whether it be employment experience or just personal life experience, everything helps us in the end to become who we need to be. So absolutely. yeah, it's very, very true. With that said, tell me about how people can support you, your businesses, and the local businesses that you are, are kind of promoting and featuring and advertising. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, what the website and our platform is really about is us spreading the word about the great businesses that are, are around us, right? Because a lot of people, they just don't know. So with the system on Malcolm's Choice, what you can do is you can visit our website and you can search for different businesses across whatever industry. I mean, um, you know, we've got people in hair care, people in apparel and clothing. So really just search for what you're looking for um, because you never know that option might be out there. And so on the website, uh, as a business owner, what we do for the business owners is we give them their own landing page. So even without a website, there is a go-to place that they can market and promote their business to a niche market, a to people like us that are wanting to support people that look like, like us, right? And support Black-owned businesses. So it's really targeted for that. On the landing page, it's going to tell people how to support your business, where to find you, what you do, and really how, how to buy from you really and that's what it really is about that we want to buy from the people the black owned businesses that are local right so um that's what you can do if you're a business owner you can register right on the website www.malcolmschoice.ca and there's an add a listing button it allows you to do everything virtually straight online um and that's really what it's all about there fabulous is there something that people don't know about you or your business that maybe they should? Well, recently we've expanded the website to not only feature businesses, but also events and jobs from businesses. Because uh, at Malcolm's Choice, we really are about youth and youth employment. And I don't know if you know this, but Black youth unemployment is, is high. And as a business owner myself, what I was doing is I wanted to hire interns. And while I was putting um, the information out to the schools and different avenues, I wasn't getting as much Black students uh, responding to me as, as maybe I I thought we're out there. So that's another reason why we added that feature to the website. And we want to build in an internship program into the business so that we can support new graduates and young people that are just trying to get experience in the industry, but also support the businesses that do need that additional human resource support as well. So this, this, we have this going on. We have a digital loyalty program that we are going to be releasing in the upcoming months. Um, our printed directory should be, you should be seeing that around the greater Toronto area at some of the businesses that um, you visit on a regular basis, some law offices, hair salons, restaurants, and we're having our printed business directory directory displayed there. Um, and just so much more coming up from Malcolm's Choices. You know, we want to be much more than just a business directory, but really a social enterprise. And we're working for the Black business community here in the greater Toronto area and ultimately in Canada. So for my last question, I desperately want to know, what is the best way to get a hold of you guys? Where are you guys present? And what do you do on these platforms? Absolutely. Well, the best place would be our website, www.malcolmschoice.ca. But we are also very, very social. We're on Instagram, we're on Facebook, and we're on LinkedIn. And we really want to use all those avenues to have an additional marketing for the businesses that we serve. So if you want to DM us on Instagram, then we do do IG promotions. We promote businesses, we promote sales, we promote products and services as well. So just shoot us a DM on, on one of those, as well as on LinkedIn, connect with me. My name is Jody Ann Campbell. I'm known as the Black Business Plug on LinkedIn. So definitely check me out. I'd love to connect with any one of you. Amazing. So last thing that I want to, to mention is I love your shirt. Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> I, just, I just, I'm getting, I, we're working on the merchandise. So we're, we're hashing it out and seeing what we want to do. I think I'm going to stick with a Black on Black theme for all the merchandise that we were creating. I got a hoodie here as well. I want to do a giveaway soon, but um, 
we're going to do a giveaway soon, but um, first we're just working out the finer kinks and just making sure that everything is looking really good. Um, so yeah, lots in the works. Um, yeah, lots in the works. <laughs> Thank you, friends. Please check them out on any social media platform. Always like, comment, and share. Most importantly, thank you for supporting local. Thank you.